This is the Cape Peninsula University of Technology Roland Street campus. Journalism students here are unhappy about the shortage of equipment such as cameras, voice recorders and video cameras. They say that the situation makes it hard for them to do their assignments to the best of their ability. We would have, we would have an assignment that, is, that has a tight deadline and we, was, we are all supposed to submit on the due date and there's like limited uh, recorders we would go to court and borrow each other and sometimes there are no uh, memory cards in the recorders in some recorders and some recorders are not working at all these are some of the equipment that has to be shared by the first second and third year students which amounts to quite a number of students which makes life very difficult to execute individual tasks. So there is a shortage of equipment. Um, we are expected to produce quality work and on limited time with limited equipment as well as it's not the best equipment that we have on the campus but we, we, make, we make what we can with it. Um, we have raised it. It's been years and it's been like roughly three years since I've been here and we've been raising the, you know, the equipment issue with the management of the campus but nothing has been done so I had to take the matter to the go-to man who is in charge of the equipment at the institution to find out what's his take on this particular issue in terms of equipment yes we don't have enough adequate in the, uh, equipment to I think to reach out to everyone we've got uh, I think let's a brief example, we've got 40 first students and we've got quite a number if you combine from level 1 to, to, to the final year uh, level is that we've got around about close to 100 students if I'm not mistaken. Then in the number of equipment that we have within the department, it can never be enough for all those students. From what I've gathered, it seems like the students' concerns will never be met as there are no immediate plans to buy new equipment for them anytime soon. But it rather seems like they will have to make do with what they currently have. It is quite shocking that an institution as big as CPUT with great history and legacy is unable to provide its students with sufficient resources needed. We can only hope that things could improve for the better because it looks like the journalism program is dying a slow death at the institution. This is Mandela Kejula for CPUT News, Cape Town.